Fuck it, I entertain the play along. They claim they the best in the game when I'm the system that they play it on. They copy me, but my pattern is far beyond strange. I sit back and watch my clones play like LeBron James. See, I'm the illest that's walking under the firmament. The pat on the back from me will leave a puppet that's permanent. They pointed and laughed when cautious wasn't doing well. I needed that. First you learn, then you remove the L. Soon after that, you can't be stopped. Get up and go and get it. You gotta activate your hustle if you want specifics. It's no denying me, my flow's terrific. All these candy bars being produced, I guess that made me. The golden ticket. My whole life, good and evil, been playing tug of war, but still I remain flyer than Marty McFly's hoverboard. Don't trust the soul, too many stabs in the back. They sleeping on me now, it's time to wake them up from their nap. It's a difference between confusion and undeniable rap. That's why fake they listen and don't know how to act. Fat Sonic, boom, I'm light speeding. Trust the haters, life scheming. Switch up from good to bad to gremlin tight like they night feeding. Rhyming to my teeth, broken time to my. Yo, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. We're getting to that a little bit later, giving you guys a little. Little tidbit of what we're going to be talking about. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Big Mike Raider. And we're here to talk some ball right here, man. We're going to talk some film study. We're going to go into some film study. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into talking about our very own Neil Farrell Jr. Looks like he might be a starter this year. You know, we got some youngsters. We're doing the we're doing the uh, the youth movement, you know. So it looks like we're going to be going with him as a starter. So why not? go into some film study and kind of his work that he did last season, particularly week nine against the Jacksonville Jaguars, where he earned a 76.9 PFF grade. We're going to go in about 16 of his 27 snaps, kind of his best hits in that game against the Jaguars in week nine. Um, this was by far his best game that he had the entire season. So I want to get, I want to get into it guys. Uh, this is going to be on, planetraiders.com this is going to be on planet raiders it's also going to be on my channel go check out planet raiders um and do the look at the film breakdown as well as some fire articles from wasted talent Kane town raider myself black sales we got it all over there go check it out and a couple of film studies from andy who's chipping in right here man he had some some good film breakdown from uh spillane um so Guys, go check it out. Go check it out, please. Um, without further ado, let's jump into this film breakdown. Like I said, it's going to be Neil Farrell Jr. against the Jacksonville Jaguars. 76.9 PFF grade in week nine. This is by far his best game. And for the reason why we're doing this is because, well, it looks like, you know, he's going to be our, our starter. He's going to be one of our, uh, he's going to be our, uh, or maybe not a starter, but he's going to be a big piece of this defensive tackle. He's going to be in a good rotation. Uh, we're going with the youth movement, it looks like. Um, we haven't addressed the defensive tackle position in free agency. So it's looking like we're going to be rolling with our guys that we drafted last year. So, guys, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let me rewind this. This is some of the uh, kind of started rolling without me. So let's, uh, let's slow this down. All right. So this is what we're looking at right here. We got Neil Farrell Jr., number 92. He's going to be in the three technique on the outside shade of the left guard. Um, if you guys uh, if you guys are keeping up, he's going to be number 92 right there. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's show it real quick. So there you go. There you go. Snap the ball. Okay, so he goes on the backside, the opposite end of Neil Farrell Jr., but Neil Farrell Jr. almost makes the play. So let's look at it right here. Right and get a better angle. Like I said, let's stop it right here. We got Neil Farrell Jr. in the three technique. Um, right there over the outside shade of the guard. We got uh two linebackers right there, and uh Travis Etienne as running back. Uh, of course, you got um um Trevor Lawrence at quarterback. So let's see how it unfolds. And I'm gonna slow it down, kind of break it down. This play you got the snap. So here we go right here. Now everybody, it looks like we got everybody blocked right here. Stalemate, right? And then you'll see in a little bit. I'll click real quick. Boom. Now you got you got that, that lane right there. You got an open lane. It looks like a huge lane. And on your left side right here on the left side of the screen, you got Neil Farrell Jr. playing patty cake with number 69, which is fine. I'm not expecting you to make a play. You know, that's a spectacular play if you can make it at the defensive tackle position. But what would you like to see here is – him break off of that 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 guard as soon as he recognizes that there's going to be a run on that end. You would like to see him shed that blocker, and that's coachable, guys. That's coachable. That's things that we can kind of coach. Um, 
you know, Trayvon Merrick, he's way out of position right here, but we're not going to talk about Trayvon Merrick here, but Merrick should be filling that hole right there, recognizing what's going on. Everybody's blocked. Trayvon Merrick needs to recognize that a lot faster. So let's keep on going. So there you go. There you go. So Neil Farrell Jr. is chasing this dude down. And now, guys, I don't know if you guys knew, but Neil Farrell Jr. is down to 305 this coming season. He was playing at about 330 last season. So in saying all that, he shed at the blocker. He and he, he, you know, he recognized it. You would like for him to recognize that just a little bit faster. But here's the thing: at 305, he sheds that blocker faster, and then he can make that play. Next year, we might see him make that play. So let's see how it unfolds. So, yeah, he's chasing down. He's right there, man. He's just, you know, maybe just a little bit lighter. You know, we, we possibly see him making that play next year. So promising, coachable situation. I like it. It's not a big deal. You know, it wasn't expect you, you don't expect a, a defensive tackle to really make that play. Uh, that's really on the linebackers and the and the safety. Uh, Merrick, he should have been, fill, fit, been filling that hole. So let's look at the next play right here. So I believe that Neil Farrell Jr. is going to be on your right side. Um, as you can see, he still made it with the the the. Uh, it looks like the tackle right here, but we'll get a better angle right here. So let's go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, linebacker, I mean, running back kind of bounced out because Billings kind of forced him to bounce outside. So there you go. So now you got Neil Farrell, number 92, and the three technique stalemate with the guard. So there you go, and he makes the play. So there you go. That was a perfect play from him, um, and that was a good play from uh, Billings, who uh, went to the Chicago Bears. But uh, that was a good play on his part. He forced the running back to bounce to the outside, and Neil Farrell Jr. Uh, forces the play, makes uh, the, t the assisted tackle. So here we go. We I believe we got Neil Farrell Jr. right here in a one technique on the uh on the shade in between the center and the guard on the right side. Let's see how this unfolds. We'll get a better angle. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, and there's another situation right there which you would like to see Neil Farrell Jr. shed that block. So there you go. Let's there, there you see it. He's in a almost a two eye or maybe even a one technique right here. Um, so let's see how it unfolds. Let's see how it unfolds. So, you know, he gets patty cake with the center. What you want to do is see him kind of, um, shed that blocker and move laterally down a nice angle pursuit. And he could possibly make that play, um, more agile, uh, a little bit lighter. Um, you might see him make that play this year. So let, let's see how it unfolds. So there you go. Yeah, he, he needs to uh, stop playing patty cake. But, you know, this is coachable situations. Like I said, guys, this is one of those things where he can, like, you know, with, with some coaching and, and some film study, uh, he can recognize these situations and shed the blocker a lot faster and make the play. But he's right there. He's pretty close, man. He's pretty close. So let's look at this one. I believe he's in a one technique right here. We'll get a better angle. Let's see how this play goes. Okay, okay. And that was a way to shut off the block. Um, he kind of threw the guy off of him, which you like to see. Um, here you go. He's in the one technique right here in between center and guard on the right side. And there you go. There you go. And th this time, he recognizes it a lot faster, but he's not in a position to make the play. That's fine. Um, you kind of hope our linebackers would be there to make the play. Uh, Denzel Perryman um, kind of is a little bit slower in reaction to me, in my opinion. But here we go. There you go. He sheds him off really quick. But, you know, you can't expect a defensive tackle to really make that play. So um, I'm all right with it. Let's see what we got here. Um, I believe we got Neil Farrell. Uh, um, I'm not I'm not too sure, but I believe he's in the one technique on the left side. Uh, I'm not too sure. He might be in that three technique on the right side, but we'll get a better angle. Let's see how it unfolds. OK, so, yeah, he is in that three technique, guys. Um, we'll get a better angle right here. Three technique right here um, on the on our right on our left side of the screen. Let's see how it unfolds. You got a man motioning. So the Jaguars ran this play a lot where they motioned the wide receiver to the right, and then they had almost like a counter type of play where the 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 tight end kind of uh, does like a counter uh, and kind of pulls to the left and making that natural lane between the guard 
I'm sorry, the tackle and the tight end. Uh, it looks like they're trying to replicate that same type of play, but it looks like Travis Etienne bounced to the inside. And to me, Neil Farrell is in a perfect position right here. He's right here. He's recognizing the play. You can see his eyes are on the running back right here. He stalemated with that, uh, I believe it's the tackle right here. And that's what you want to see. And let's see if he sheds that the way we want him to shed it. So he holds his ground. He sheds it. You would hope for that he would shed it just a little bit uh, sooner, but he sheds it nonetheless, and he makes that tackle. It's a great play from him, uh, assisted. I, I would say that's a good play. You would hope that he would, uh, however, um, shed that guy a little bit earlier and, and kind of tackle him for minimal gain. But, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. And that was a good play from him. So next play right here, let's look at it, right? I believe he's in the one technique in between the center and guard on the left side right here. We'll see how this play unfolds. And we're looking at Neil Farrell, number 92, and that's a great play right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he completely just threw uh, the, the guard off him. I believe it was the guard. He just kind of threw him off real quick, and he was in position to make the play. Um, he, he filled a gap right there. He did his job, and that's what you – you're looking for from a one slash three technique from a um, from a uh, defensive tackle with gap responsibility. So there you go. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. And like I said, we're going to get a better angle at this right here. Like I said, Neil Farrell Jr. in a one technique right here, and he's on the guard. No, he's on the center. Sorry, guys. So you see what he did right there? He kind of like made an angle towards the center, and he kind of just did like a uh, like almost a swim slash rip. Uh, to kind of get the center off him, and he was in a position to fill that gap, forcing Travis, I believe it's Travis Etienne, or it might be another running back, to kind of bounce it to the outside, and the rest of the guys were there to make the thing happen, make a tackle for minimal gain. So there you go. Good play from Neil Farrell. He was the one that kind of started that, uh, and great play. That's a great play, and this is why he got a 76.9 PFF grade in this uh, in this game. He was one of the top rookie performers for week nine. So it, and it shows right here. I mean, he, he's either really close to making plays um, or he's there making a play and causing other, uh, causing havoc. So this, that's what we're looking for right here. So let's see. I believe he's in the one technique right here. Um, you, you, you got a lot of guys down uh, right there. You got like five uh, linemen right there. So this is an obvious running situation. Let's see what happens. So you got that motion, and then watch. You got it once again. Like I said, you got the motion from the, the, the wide receiver going to the right, and then you got that counter action from the tight end pulling to the left, causing that lane between the, the tackle and the tight end. That's what the Jaguars did the entire game uh, when it came to running the ball, and they were successful at it late in the game. So you look right here. Let's see what happens. You see that Neil Farrell, this is a bad position. He's caught up in the scrum right here you know and that's going to be really hard to get out of so let's see what he does here and he does a great job shedding that he overcomes that scrum and kind of gets out there and he's just just a second too soon right here now he's kind of head up on this guard right here he might be a two eye um it, it depends it depends on how you see it right so actually let's, let's see how it goes let's see how it goes let's see how it goes this is in real time so bear with me um there you go so you got number 69 on skates right there you never want to see your offensive lineman leaning that way look at number 69 he is not upright he is on like his right leg and he is definitely three-wheel motion right now and that's what you want to see what you don't want to see is that natural lane about to happen between the the tackle and the tight end the tight end is about to make this natural lane because he's about to block this, uh, this uh, I don't know what number that is, this uh, outside linebacker on the outside. All he has to do is kind of touch him just a little bit. And you see that uh, our uh, the tackle number 74 and the Jaguars is washing this dude down, man. Roll, roll, you know how it goes. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. He's washing his ass down there, and you definitely don't want to see that. Let's see how it unfolds, though. Oh, man. So, yeah, Neil, Neil Farrell does a good job. Uh, the, you know, even the dude that was getting washed down kind of overcame that and uh, make this play. This play could have had this had potential of being way worse than what it was. Uh, Neil Farrell, if he just like I said, just sheds it a little bit sooner. He's right there to make a play. So uh, I would say that's a, a decent effort from him from him. So let's see how the rest of it unfolds. He's right there to kind of uh, he's he's in the mix with that one. So let's see how this one goes. 
All right. So it looks like we got him in a three technique on the right side between the guard and the tackle right here. Let's check it out. Let's see how it goes. I think this is the play that, and this is, this is uh, by design right here. Um, I would say uh, you would like to see Neil Farrell kind of hold his ground and kind of stay on his feet here. Um, if he does, maybe he can, you know, maybe deflect the ball. I'm going to stop right here. So he's in a three technique and notice how he, he, he gets a good rush forward, but he doesn't keep his feet. Now, if he keeps his feet, he can probably just, dis uh, uh, disrupt this play and possibly get a, uh, a pass deflection. And uh, when he does that, you know, you, 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 I think this is third down as well. Um, I'm not too sure, but if he does this, you, they're in a punt situation. So let, let's check it out. Let's check it out. There you go. You want him to keep his feet. You want him to keep his feet right here because if he does, he recognizes that it's almost like a screen almost. So he recognizes that. Maybe he, he causes uh, Trevor Lawrence to kind of change where he wants to go, disrupts the pass a little bit, disrupt timing, things like that. So um, good effort, but you want him to keep his feet here. And it, it ended up turning into a first down right here. Um, there you go. There you go to the tight end, first down. Um, now that play was by design. So let's see right here. I believe that Neil Farrell is once again in the three technique um, in between guard and tackle on the left side this time. Let's see how it goes. Okay, swim move, makes the play. That is an excellent play. He had his hand in there. He, he kind of slowed down that running back. He didn't make the tackle, but he slowed him down. So let's check it out. Actually, guys, he's in the one technique. I'm sorry. So right there, head up with the center. And what he does, he, he was working that center all game, guys. What he does, swim move, boom. Now he's in a position right there. He's filling the gap. The, the running back is forced to bounce to the outside. You would like to see, uh, I believe that's Max Crosby, to kind of be uh, not so aggressive uh, going upfield, but kind of filling a gap, and he can make that play. But Neil Farrell does his job, forces the running back to bounce to the outside on the left side. So let's see, let's see. Doesn't make the play. That's a tough play, but he slows him down just enough for the rest of the guys to make the play. So that's an excellent play, guys. Let's see what else we got here. We got, I believe, uh, he's in a, I believe he's in a one technique right here. And that's the thing. That's another thing we want to talk about. Neil Farrell has shown in this game that he is very versatile. He's very good in the one and in the three technique. So that's what you like to see. And that's what Patrick Graham also likes to see. Um, guys that, that can be in the one and the three technique, man. This is uh, this is these are guys that we were uh, that fulfills that vision of of uh, what Patrick Graham is looking for. So let's let's keep looking at it, man. Let's keep going. Okay, there's some confusion right there. Last minute movement. All right, so I believe uh, uh, Neil Farrell is. We'll get we'll get a better look at it. So Neil Farrell, I'm sorry, guys. Neil Farrell is in. The three technique Billings is it looks like he, he ends up moving over to the one, but he's head up on the center. I think there was some like miscommunication on, on, on gap responsibility or lineup. Um, and I believe number 54 Martinez kind of corrects him there. But uh, let, let's see how it goes. See, there you go. So now you got Billings that kind of sl slid over right before the snap to the one technique. And you got. Uh, Neil Farrell in the three technique, but I feel like Martinez or somebody's not lined up correctly because you got too many people kind of lined uh, heavy to the left. Um, I, I would like to see um, Martinez kind of slide over just a little bit right in between that gap of the center and guard, but um, maybe that's by design. I don't know. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. That's excellent. That is excellent. He has a lower pad level than the uh i believe that's the guard uh that's what you want to see he's uh filling the gap right there uh he's gonna force the running back to bounce to the outside he really has nowhere to go right there um and that and you know what to be honest neil farrell makes this play he makes this play happen because you know initially what you're seeing from a, a running back's perspective on that right side or i'm sorry on the left side on our left side it was heavily it was it was like five raiders on that left side so the running back already knew that he couldn't even go that way, you know, by, you know, that's, that was his, that was his game plan beforehand. So his game plan was to bounce to his left side, to the outside, to our right side of the screen. But Neil Farrell does a great job um, stalemating, getting a lower pad level on that offensive lineman and forcing that running back to bounce out. Let's see what happens. 
boom, you see him bounce out. And then, and you know, that's just a good running back right there. It's a solid running back. He bounced out and put a move on Neil Farrell, and uh, he kind of made a, a lane for himself and got a minimal gain. But that's that was made by Neil Farrell. That was caused by Neil Farrell, and I, I give him props for that. He ended up being part of the tackle, but, you know, because of the gap responsibility being a little bit wonky to me, um, I would say that he probably saved a touchdown right here in the long run. So excellent play. This is one of my favorite plays from him in this out of this whole film study, guys. All right, all right. Here we go. We got the next one right here. Uh, we got, I believe he's in the one technique on the left side. We'll get a better angle. Let's see how it unfolds. Okay, and this is this is also one of my favorite plays as well. Um, ends up being a first down. Um, he didn't really do much, but there's 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 one key thing that I want to look at right here. He's actually head up on the guard right here. It's almost like a two eye or maybe even a one technique. So it's a everybody's uh, biting on the play action right here, right? Everybody's going that Martinez. Uh, he actually holds his ground a little bit, but Perryman's really aggressive. He's going for that uh, that play action. Everybody else is reacting to the play action, and then let's see. I want to show you something, guys. I want to show you what ends up happening right here. Let's see. So that's the key part right here. Neil Farrell, he sees right away that this is not a run play. And what he does, he's the first one to react. You see how he spins to towards the quarterback, you know, to kind of get back in the game, kind of get back into play. And he's the only one that actually is reacting this way. And, and his reaction time is excellent to me. I think that's excellent reaction time. He's not going to make the play here. He bit too hard on the play action, but he did what he could to recover from that, and that's important. And, you know, nothing like a little uh, coaching, nothing like a little film study can solve that, can remedy that, and and uh, he can actually be there and, and possibly, you know, down the line in these kind of situations uh, cause some disruption, maybe a pass deflection or maybe even a sack if he puts some uh, tooling to his uh, pass rushing moves. But let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, he, you know, he didn't make the play, but he recognized what was going on, and I like that. That's building blocks right there, and that's what you like to see from a young rookie. So uh, I believe that Neil Farrell is on the uh, right side, three technique. Let's see what's going on. Boom. This play again, guys. This play again. You're going to have the wide receiver motion into the right, and then you're going to have that tight end coming down to the left, forcing a, a natural lane. Uh, let, let's see how it goes. There you go, number 85 right there. There you go. You got the tackle washing the dude down. You got the tight end. He looks like he's going after that outside linebacker or that defensive end, causing that natural lane. You can see the lane almost fucking forming right there. It's pretty crazy, right? There you go. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that lane right there. That's the lane I'm talking about. This ended up, they ran this play over and over, and they hit on it late in the game. And it was because that left that that left tackle would just wash that guy down, and then you would have that tight end, um, you know, come down come downhill and get that free uh, de uh, defensive end right there, who uh, sometimes was too aggressive and wouldn't just stay in the gap and hold responsibility. So all the tight end had to do was just kind of touch you a little bit, and then that lane was formed, and that's exactly what happened here. So there you go. Um, not the greatest play from Neil Farrell, but that was my point right here is that they ran this play on us all game and they bit us late. So you got right here and that's, that's a coaching, but whew, that's bad. You don't want to see that number 74 wash Neil Farrell down. And all he had to do was touch him a little. You definitely don't want to see that position from your, your, your defensive tackle. He is way out of position. His, his, you know, his body isn't square. He has no way to make this play. All uh, Travis Etienne has to do is bounce out and wait for that that tight end to make that natural lane, and that's exactly what happens, guys. Let's see it. Let's see it. Boom. Natural lane. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. He's going downhill to, uh, for, for a first down, and this was late in the game, too. That was one of the backbreakers. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I believe he was in the one technique. Um, and there you go. That's, that's another coachable moment right here. Let's see what ends up happening. Um, believe he's in a one technique, kind of a two eye ish. Uh, 
And and you would like to see right here, he's in good position. If he just sheds that guy off, it's the guard, uh, the guard, the right guard. He sheds this right guard down, and he could be in a position to make a play. You want to see him get there just a little bit sooner. He's right there. Linebacker's way out of position. He's caught in a, in a cluster fuck, and you don't want to see that. Number uh, number 54 is just caught in a cluster, and let's see. Yeah, he's way, uh, you know, 54 should have been there to make that play, but we're looking at Neil Farrell. Neil Farrell, if you can just shed that blocker just a little bit sooner you're causing more havoc and possibly somebody can come and make that play but i'm putting this on number 54 he should have been there he was way out of position he got caught in a cluster and that's that's the consequences right there that's the consequences so yeah um almost a touchdown score right there i believe neil farrell's in the three technique right here let's see how this play goes and look at this this is what you want to see angle pursuit hustle a motor a guy who gives a fuck, man. This is what you want to see. One technique right here. Let's look at it. This is my favorite play by far. Here you go. Downhill. Hey, what you want to see right here is angle pursuit. Guys, angle pursuit. This is what you want to see. You want to see him go down that line just a little bit, you know, give a little bit more depth because he doesn't have the speed to make the play. And maybe at 305, he can make this play right away. But the motor on this man, he didn't give up. And this is what you like to see. Number 92 is freed up, and then you like to see him angle pursuit, right? There you go. He's chasing him down. If he made a better angle, he would have made the play right away, but he doesn't give up on the play, and here you go. Boom, bounces back, and there, he's there to make the tackle. That is excellent. That is a great motor from number 92. That is by far the best play of this film study. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, one technique right here. Let's check it out. Okay, stalemate, stalemate, stalemate. He's kind of there to make the play, but this is another teachable moment right here, guys. Uh, you would like to see him shed this block and go down the line and make this play right here. So here we go, one technique on the center. He's right there, guys. He's right there. Either push this guy back. He did a good job of pushing the, the center back and causing uh, ETN to bounce it out. But what you want to see just a little bit more is to kind of shed that block or push the, the center further down, making ETN bounce it out even further, uh, losing ground, kind of going backwards. But what ends up happening here is uh, that he loses position right here. You want him to shed that block, guys. He's right there. He's so close. He doesn't quite shed the block on, in time, and he kind of gets uh, kind of gets caught up with that center for too long. And ETN, instead of it being like a loss of uh, yardage, he, he gained some yardage on that. But he's close, guys. He's close. That's a close play. All right, next play, guys. Here we go. I believe that uh, Neil Farrell is on uh, – uh, we'll, we'll get a better angle. I believe he's in the three technique right here on the, le on the left side. Um, I think he ends up making this play here. Excellent play. He holds his ground, stands his ground. He is in the one technique, guys, on the left side of the screen right here. There you go. Got number 69 out of position again. Uh, if he can just use that club to kind of club him, kind of shed him off just a little bit sooner, but he still makes the play right here, washes, uh, kind of rips him off of him and makes the play excellent play. I have no problems with that. And guys, that is the film study, guys. Like I said, Neil Farrell Jr. in that game, 76.9 PFF grade, 16 snaps. We just went over uh, week nine um, against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Guys, this might be, uh, you know, something to build on, right? Uh, like I said, Neil Farrell has dropped down to 305 reportedly. So a lot of those plays, he was just a second too slow, you know, shed some weight. Maybe that speed will make the difference. And we might be seeing somebody that's going to be in this rotation and be making more plays this year. So, hey, we might have our guy, guys. I say that that was a successful see uh, week. Um, I would like to see more of that this year. And if he does, we got the defensive tackle of the future. All right, guys, that is it. Guys, make sure you like the thumb, hit the sub, share with your folks. Big Mike Raider. Hey, thanks for showing up. And that is it. I appreciate you guys checking out the film study. And we are out. Peace out. You guys have a good one.
fuck it, I entertain the play along They claim they the best in the game When I'm the system that they play it on They copy me, but my pattern is far beyond strange I sit back and watch my clones play like LeBron James See, I'm the illest that's walking under the firmament The pat on the back for me will leave a puppet that's permanent They pointed and laughed when cautious wasn't doing well I needed that, first you learn, then you remove the L Soon after that, you can't be stopped, get up and go and get it You gotta activate your hustle if you want specifics It's no denying me, my flow's terrific All these candy bars being produced, I guess that made me the golden ticket My whole life, good and evil, been playing tug of war But still I remain flyer than Marty McFly's hoverboard Don't trust the soul, too many stabs in the back They sleeping on me, now it's time to wake them up from their nap It's a difference between confusion and undeniable rap That's why fake they listen and don't know how to act Sonic boom, I'm light speeding, trust the haters like scheming Switch up from good to bad to gremlin type like